Welcome back. In the previous part, we did some bonding, and it's time to do some more bonding, because I've been to the Cabaret Club quite a few times now, and stuff is ready to pop once again here with Xiao. Yo, Kasuga-kun. I've already got a good buzz going. Oh, yeah? Nice. Could use one of those myself. Mind if I join you? Sure. I was getting kind of bored drinking by myself. So, what are the Yokohama Lumon guys up to now? Any of them ever swing by your place? Nah, I don't see them too much. And the ones who sided with Mabuchi seem pretty hesitant to get anywhere near me. Sounds about right. I mean, they did stage a full-on mutiny and shit. Do you ever wonder why they sided with Mabuchi instead of you? Not ah, really. But if I know those guys as well as I think, I'd say it was because Mabuchi was easy to understand. Easy to understand? How you figure? His goals were crystal clear. Everything for money and power. If rules had to be broken or blood had to be spilled, so be it. So, in Mabuchi's world, as long as you had balls and muscle, you could work your way to the top. Even if you stepped on your boys to get there. As long as you swore loyalty to Mabuchi. Damn, I could get messed up fast. And I thought I heard somewhere that Mabuchi was actually pretty smart. That true? Oh yeah. He spoke multiple languages, ran numbers better than a calculator, and most important of all, he was just fine with breaking kneecaps. He was born for the underworld. If he'd been Tojo, I bet he would have gone even farther than you. Hmm. I like, I like the what-ifs don't mean much. But I guess it was fate, me getting locked up like that. Right, sorry. I shouldn't be dredging shit like that up anyway, Kasuga-kun. <laughs> I ain't trying to make you feel guilty. No need to apologize. Gotcha. Anyway, what I wanted to say was that the younger Mabuchi had some talent. Yeah. I even went as far as asking Mabuchi to be my right-hand man because of it. Huh? You mean you're the guy that gave him all that power? I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I am. Come on, man. That's not something to laugh about. Nah, you see, Mabuchi was just that special of a guy back then. He wasn't the type to just chill on the sidelines. Guy won me over, too. How exactly? When Mabuchi was younger, he just had this... I don't know, I guess you'd call it... Aspiration. He was going straight to the top. And he had the talent to get there, too. He had something I didn't. It's probably why I was so drawn to him. Just like you, Kasuga-kun. <laughs> now that I think about it, you two are pretty alike. Come on, don't say that. Not when Mabuchi became such a scumbag. How'd that happen, anyway? Uh, thinking about it now, I imagine it had something to do with him being promoted to officer. From that moment on, he would challenge me right out in the open. Didn't matter that we were roughly the same age and I outranked him. He probably didn't like that I was born into the top spots, nor that I kept up the weak cooperation policy. Mabuchi was pretty goddamn assertive. As far as I know, I was nothing but a thorn in his side. Well, then, sounds like you should have known he'd betray you eventually. Nah. I probably would have trusted him no matter what he said. But I know my old man and his boys didn't think too highly of him. They said he'd betray us for sure, so it would be better to get rid of him sooner rather than later. They were pretty quick to try and make him disappear. So what'd you do? I fought back. I probably mentioned this earlier, but I think it's really dumb when people kill the guys in their own inner circles. And this was during a time when responsibility was starting to fall to me and Mabuchi instead of the old boys. Stomping out Mabuchi was like stomping out our future. So I stood up to them. Uh, the elders were pretty tough to persuade. That's the first and only time in my life I'd grovel like that. You did all that for Mabuchi? Why go through that for a guy who hates you? 
True, Mabuchi was a fucking weirdo, and at times an evil son of a bitch. He wasn't likable either. But he had a passion I didn't have. He had talent, and above everything else, I thought of him as my brother. You can see why I don't want him dead. You're right. Sorry, I was out of line. I'm getting used to you doing that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good thing you get me. Why is that? Cause talking like this is great. I see now you're a pretty passionate guy, Xiao. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, stop fronting so much already. You're always pulling that shit. That's why I could never figure you the hell out. Now that we're a couple drinks in, I feel like I'm finally getting to know the real Zhao. You got a lot of heart, and you care about your family. That goes a long way in my book. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when you say it out loud like that. <laughs> Look at you, your face is all red. What's up with that? Ah, I'm just drunk. Let's keep knocking him back, yeah? <laughs> sure. To Zhao Senpai, for keeping it real. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's like I was saying in the previous part, it's just... He's a nice guy! Bodyguard. He can be quite strong and intimidating. Nice guy. Anyway, Kim! Yo! A perfect timing, Kasuga-san. There's something I must tell you. Huh? I believe I mentioned that a group was looking for me in and around Ijincho, and that the Komijo were looking into their motives and identities. Yeah, I remember you saying that. You learn anything new? Yes. It seems they've disappeared from Ijincho. They've avoided the Komijo's nets at every turn. Hmm. You sure look calm, yeah? Well, you sure as shit look calm. Or is that just me? <laughs> How very observant of you. So what's your take on all this? It's possible that the group in question has left the city. And I imagine it's because they found their target. Their target? What I mean is, I believe my enemies have already ascertained my location and are waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Huh. If that's the case, then they're quite skilled. They've managed to elude the Komijul's eyes this whole time. But that's bad news, right? Yes. And for you and everyone else around me, we could fall right into their hands at any moment. Okay, but that's only if we sit around and wait, right? What? <laughs> no point in being such a stranger. We'll lend you a hand. Let's find these creeps together. Hit them before they hit us. You feel me? The Komijul have been looking into their whereabouts. Even so, they've proven quite difficult to find. Finding them on our own won't be easy. So you really think they're Jingong Mafia remnants? You were saying something about that last time, right? That they might be after you because you're using your old boss's name? Yes. I have no reason to deny that given the circumstances. Then why not drop the Junki Han thing and go back to being Yongsu Kim? I'm guessing there's some reason you can't do that. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, there's nothing preventing me from doing so. I simply wish to continue being Junki Han. Even if it means being hunted down? I don't wish to get you or the others involved in the Jingon Mafia's troubles. But it appears to be too late, so I may be troubling you already. Everyone should be on their guard. My pursuers could attack at any time. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to or something? I'm sorry? We've tangled with both the Yijing Three and the Omi Alliance guys. We couldn't let our guards down even if we wanted to. Adding the Jingong Mafia to that list ain't gonna make us any less ready. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it seems our little party is much tougher than I expected. Then, I'm amongst reliable friends. Maybe I am allowed to trouble you after all. 
<laughs> so what now? Do we toast to our new friendship yet? No. I won't be getting that close. It would be out of character for Jung Yi-Han. <laughs> Keep putting yourself on a pestle like that and we'll start leaving you out. <laughs> Musician and a chef. They don't normally mix, do they? Some time later, after much cabaret nonsense, we have some more scenes. Oh, there's Zhao drinking alone. Ah, Kasuga kun. Just in time. I was waiting for you. Hmm? What's up? Did something happen? Uh, I'll get right to the point. Mabuchi's come back to Ijincho. Wait, really? I thought you gave him and his boys the boot. Right? Ain't that some shit? After we let him go and everything. Yeah. Do you think he wants back in the Yokohama Lyumong? Who knows? I don't think he has that kind of power anymore. Most of his lackeys bailed on him. What about the Omi? Is it possible they're still backing him? Well, the Omi Alliance wouldn't have any use for him at this point. Well, if that's true, wouldn't it mean his return isn't much of a threat? That's what I'm thinking. Mabuchi's out with the trash now. Bet you're happy about that. Hmm. Time to put the final nail in the coffin. Kinda. But a rat hanging out in the trash is still a rat. We should probably just let it go. No point in beating a dead horse. Or a rat. I'm sure I've said it before, but the real issue is with Songhui. Yeah. She'd be setting a bad example if she didn't bring the hammer down on the guy who torched their home. Yep. She's running the show now. Songhui finds out Mabuchi's back. He's as good as dead. True. So, uh, what do you want to do about all this? I want to chase him off, before the Komi Jewel make their move. So you still won't turn your back on him? Even after all he's done? Right. Think I'm just too soft. But when it comes down to it, he's still my brother. <sighs> Even though he acts nothing like it, the guy tried to kill me for shit's sake. <laughs> I ain't nothing wrong with being soft. You're better off that way, if you ask me. I like knowing there's actually a beating heart somewhere in that chest of yours. Don't tell me you're surprised, Kasugaku. <laughs> Bastard. Anyway, if we're gonna get to him before the Komi Jewel, we can't be sitting on our asses. Once we find out where he is, we're gonna have to move quick. If you need a hand, just let me know. Kasugaku, thanks. You know, if anyone's a softie here, I'd say it's you. <laughs> Does that make you think any less of me? Nah, quite the opposite. I think it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> good shit. I mean, yeah, that pretty much does something up. He is just one big softy, isn't he? He's just that kind of character. Right, so, Drew, there you are. I mean, Kim. Oh? Where is he? Yo, bartender! What's up with this one here? If nobody's drinking it, can I have it? Sheesh. Could you be any more of a cheapskate? Jungi Han was just sitting there. <laughs> Jungi Han? Well, he ain't here now. Where the hell he go? Dunno. Went somewhere in a hurry. Looks like he got a phone call and rushed out. A phone call? Hope those Jingong guys aren't causing any trouble for him. I'm guessing this wasn't more than a few minutes ago? Yeah. You pretty much just missed each other. Got it. I'll go see if I can find him then. What's so important it gets you to leave your drink behind, huh, Junki Han? Where's he going? 
Is he taking matters into his own hands? Oh, shit. Yo, fancy seeing you here. Ha. Are you not embarrassed? I don't do embarrassed. I've been aware of your presence from the moment you started following me. I pretended not to notice because I didn't want to embarrass you in front of others. Hence, my bringing you to a place so secluded. Really? Okay, I'm a little embarrassed. Kasuga-san, you were worried about me, were you not? I can't say I blame you. It just so happens, I'm currently in a position where I could use your help. Huh? Where I'm going will be difficult to access alone. Would you care to accompany me? Oh, an invitation from the great Jungi Han himself, huh? <laughs> it's nice every once in a while, is it not? Yeah, um, yeah. But... I'm worried about the implications. The hell is this place? A strip club? It doesn't look like they're up and running. Yes, your assessment is correct. What gives? Why'd we come here? I should fill you in. You are not the only one following me, Kasuga-san. However, they would have never revealed themselves while under the Komijo's gaze. Then you knew we were watching. Is that right, Yansu? Come now. Why isolate yourself like this? I'm not Yansu. I'm Jungi Han. It's certainly been a while, though, hasn't it? So the fake wants to become the boss. You think we'd let you get away with that? Wait. These guys are... Yes. They're survivors of the Jinghan Mafia. They came here after hearing whispers of Jimmy Han's name. According to the Komiju, seven of them had been watching me throughout Ijincho. I had recently learned that they had closed in on my location, which meant that I could take them all down at once. And that's why you lured them here. They would have been too much to handle on my own. But fortunately, Kasuga-san, you decided to follow me. <laughs> would you be upset if I expected your help in this matter? Man, why didn't you say so earlier? Why'd you have to tell me last minute? If I had told you then, your face would have given my plan away. I can't say I had much faith in your crafty side. The Jingwan Mafia will eventually be rebuilt. But you have no right to be its leader. Don't you dare assume Jungi Han's name, traitor! I just like how there was a woman during that. I was like, um, nope, I'm not going down there. No, no, no. Essence of trick shots. Time to clear the way. And I'm thinking orbital laser, which we have seen quite a bit, so there we go. That's a Discord noise. I wonder who it is. Three guesses. Three guesses. Um, Bone Crushing Bat, which again we've seen, so... No one attack should do it, though. Lovely. It's quite a bit of money. Kasuga-san, stay on your guard and make sure none of them escape. Yeah, sure thing. But, uh, what are you planning to do with these guys? We've done enough. You're not set on killing them, are you? I suppose we'll just wait and see. <laughs> Yansu Kim, he's incapable of that. He's Jungi Han in face only. 
Second-rate trash. <laughs> Once the boss was gone, he took off running. He's completely useless. Well, what's your excuse? Why be a double if you can't die like one? I concede that I failed to serve my purpose as a body double. And I cannot refute being called useless. It is as you say. However, the reason I've chosen to remain Jungi Han, even now, is for all of you. I have no intention of leading the Jingon Mafia. <laughs> what? Gotta say, I'm lost here too. The day Jungi Han was killed and the organization crumbled, what were each of you doing? And where? Huh? What are you getting at? You were most likely without a place to go, surviving with little or no purpose, were you not? We were a people who had finally found their place, thanks to Jungi Han. It was our only place. After the organization was lost, there was nowhere any of us could turn to. The same was true for me as well. It was by luck and luck alone that I was saved by Ijin Cho's Komijul. I wanted to help. I wanted to offer my hand to those of you that had lost everything of the lives they had once known. Huh. However, I had no way of finding all of you once you had dispersed and gone into hiding. That being the case, rather than search for you individually, I decided I'd have you come to Ijin Cho. If rumors of your dead boss wandering the streets surfaced, you wouldn't be able to resist seeing if they were true. And should you have come to reason that said person was your boss's double? I knew you guys wouldn't be able to let that slide, and you'd come out for blood. Sooner or later, you'd all make your way down to Eugene Cho. You really did this to help us? Yes. If you'd been sniffing around down here, then surely you would have heard about the Komijul at some point. Although I imagine the origins of the Komijul never made themselves known to you. <sighs> what origins? The Komijul are Jingon Mafia refugees. Those who were sent to Kamarocho by the mainland and lost. What? By the end of the 1980s, the ones who managed to escape found shelter here in Ijincho, Yokohama's gray zone. The Komijul had been ready to help those like you and me. I've remained Jungi Han so that you might take my hand and come home. It's been my aim to see that not a single one of us gets left behind. So it's true. It really was for all of us. What an aim. What a goal. Fantastic. Fantastic. Son of a bitch, man. Why you always gotta be so cool? <laughs> My apologies for causing you so much trouble. Thank you, Kasuga-san. So, are those guys gonna join up with the Komi Jewel? Yes. As long as people have a place to call home, they will always have the courage to go out and fight. I'm hoping they'll use the Komi Jewel as footing and eventually stand on their own. That's gotta be the most sentimental thing a dude dressed like that has ever said, man. Uh, this outfit belongs to the boss I respected. If you're going to make fun of it, I'll be forced to defend his honor. Wait, huh? Hey, come on, dude, lighten up. I'm just giving you a hard time. Some jokes cross into slander, and that I cannot abide. <laughs> if it wasn't coming from you, that is. Huh? You know... Outside of Song Hui, you are the only person I've ever revealed myself to. <laughs> there is nothing more to hide at this point. <laughs> so, how's it feel? Bet you're pretty relieved, huh? <laughs> as much as I'd hate to admit it, you're right. It's nice to take off the mask sometimes. So, would that make us friends at this point, Kasuga-san? <laughs> you really asking for confirmation? I didn't think you were the type. 
<laughs> My apologies. But I, I like that conclusion. It's just something really, like, wholesome about it. In a strange way. Tag Team Terrorizing Tremble. That's what we were after. Alright, so let's see what we've got here with Zhao after some more. A lot more Cabaret Club. Seeing as you're here, I imagine you got some free time right now. What if I do? Want to tag along with me as backup? A meeting with Mabuchi. You found out where he's hiding? Ah, uh, yeah. He sent over one of his guys. Really? Who? Uh, yo. Wait, you're Zhang, right? Mabuchi sent you? Why are you on his side? Last I checked, he didn't give you the time of day. Shut it! Laoma needs me now more than ever! Guess he really did lose a lot of boys. The only ones left are weaklings who got nowhere else to go. What the fuck you say? Easy, Zhang. Just let it go. So, are we going to Mabuchi's super secret hideout or not? <sighs> I'll take you there. Just follow me. Hang on a sec. Just what does Mabuchi want with us? He wants permission to return to Eugene show. And he's not asking you, Kasuga. He's asking the boss. The Liu Meng's under Songhui now. You know that, right? Yeah, but Lao Ma said he wants to make things right with you first. The Komi Jewel lost their home because of him. I don't think he has much chance of being forgiven, you know? He knows that. And he still wants to apologize to Xiao? That doesn't sound like Mabuchi to me. Don't you figure it's a trap? What do you think? But if we want to see Mabuchi, we'll have to go along with it. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Oh, it is most definitely a trap. Hey, I know this place. And this is the tunnel where Mabuchi locked us up. There's very few places the Komijo's eyes don't see. <laughs> you scared, Kasuga? Watch your mouth before I put my foot in it. <sighs> Kasuga-kun, stop! Huh? We're blocked in. What? Xiao, what the hell? You said he hardly had any guys left. <laughs> I guess I underestimated the number a bit. You still got some fans. I, I did just as you asked, Lao Ma. Long time no see, Zhao. <sighs> yeah. Didn't think I'd see you again, Mabuchi. So I'm thinking Zhao ain't getting any apology from you after all. We're just here to be slaughtered. That's right. If I offer up your heads, I'll have a seat at the Omi Alliance table for sure. Seriously? You still hoping to move up in the world even after you've been laid so low? How's that gonna happen, man? Money and power. Whatever it takes. This endless ambition of mine is what I live for. Still getting played by the Omi. You're smart, but you never learn, Mapuchi. <laughs> Think you can keep up that smirk? Remember how much fun we had at Ching Jin? I say we pick up where we left off. Fuck's sake! Give it up. This is getting more pathetic by the minute. <laughs> Shut up. Come on, Mabuchi. Can't you see? Zhao came here because he cares about you. He still sees you as his brother, even now. Wake the hell up! Before you do something you can't take back. Shut up, Kasuga, you bastard! It's your fault I'm in this mess! No, you listen to me, damn it! It's fine, Kasuga kun. I'm starting to get real pissed off at our friend here. I think the only way I can get through to him is by slugging him one. You're about to see a real different side of me. So keep this shit on the down low, alright? Huh? 
Hey, Mabuchi! Why don't you cut out the sneaky shit and face me man to man? You want my head. Well, come and get it. I'm right here! You asked for it. I'll kill you! Good luck, mate. Show me what you got. Nothing tells me you are in for a world of hurt. Let's go Essence of Full Swing. There. No idea why. Doesn't really matter. Get ready, buddy! As I was saying, doesn't really matter. What's the problem of being drunk because of the cabaret club? Let's go the Megaton throw. Boom. Oh, I so many. Let's go with the essence of the Phoenix Blade on Zhen. I mean, he's too drunk to even pay attention, so you know. Let's go. No, no, Kazuga, no! You fool. Alright, alright. I, I, I really. Like, Cabaret Club, yeah, good for getting up the bonding and stuff like that, but. He really screws you over for the battles, let's put it like that. Let's go for the essence of mayhem. Come on, let's go. I mean I could get rid of the the drunk debuff, but it's more it's more it's more fun not to. But play along with the whole like oh no! Oh no, this is bad for us. I, mean, I could get rid of it, yeah I know, but just play along, you know. Wink, that sort of thing. Alright. Essence of deadly beasts. Made him angry. Cool. It's cool that we made him angry. Orbital laser, which we've seen so much of. There we go. I got this. Oh. Um. Let's, let's go with the blade dance. Oh, he died before I got the chance to press triangle. That's a hell of a lot of money, etc. <laughs> Shit. Lama, everyone's wiped out. We're finished. This is the last time I'll say it. Get your ass out of Eugene Show right the fuck now. Song Hui already knows you're here. If you stick around, she'll kill you. As if I'd ever let the Komijil catch me. Damn it, Mabuchi. It's time to stop! Do you really think you can keep this up? Her guys only left you alone until now because she was doing me a favor! That's why your life hangs on, man. Just one little favor! Show. Look, I know you hate my guts. Well, guess what? I hate yours too! But 
no matter how much I hate you, no matter how far you fall, you're still my brother. I don't want to see you die. You hear me? I don't want you going out like that. I've said all I needed to. It's in your hands now. So you can either die or get lost. Your choice. Whatever you choose, this is goodbye. Take care, Lama. <laughs> Damn you. Let's go, Kasugaku. Sure. How do they make the bad guys so likable? Like how? Whew. I haven't had to yell like that in a while, and now I'm thirsty. Drinking really is man's only salvation. <laughs> Sounds like you're not used to yelling your real feelings like you did. Maybe you should do it more often. No way. Wears me out. And I'll be real with you, it just ain't me. Feels lame. You think? I kind of like that side of Zhao. It was nice feeling like I could see past those shades of yours. You act all detached from everyone, but deep down, you got a big old squirming mess of feelings, don't you? Guess these shades don't hide shit. You'll keep this off the record, won't you? I don't know if I should. Well, don't fuck with me about this. Promise you won't say anything. You never know. Ah, oh, but I know. You're too good a friend to pull that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. And you know what good friends do? Ah, they get too drunk to talk about that kind of shit. <laughs> damn straight. You want to do another round? <laughs> Hell yeah. Like seriously, he shouldn't be likable. But he is. How do they do this in Yakuza with these characters? Beast Brothers. I mean, that seems appropriate, does it not? So weird. How do they do this? Anyway, that is done for this part. The bonding seems done, as far as I know. There's a few little side things that we can actually do, though. Like, there's actually a side quest that I haven't finished yet, because I found out all I have to do is buy a weapon. Yeah, so we'll be doing that at the start of the next part, as well as pursuing a few other things. Relationshipy type things. Because what I plan to do is get the personality traits up. It's gonna take a while, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Tot off for now. I'm such a mess. I'm lost. I'm no good at this. I'm in love. Still in love. Still in love with you. Hard as I try, I can't even drink this pain away. Memories of you. Twisting my view